Welcome back to the channel. This is Asa Studio. Today we'll be doing some photo editing tutorial and I'm going to be showing you how to remove all these you are seeing on the background and how to fix the image the way you see it on the thumbnail. Once again, this is Asa Studio and this is a channel for photographers, music producers, card designers and so much more you can learn. Alright, so let's dive right into it. So you can clearly see obviously in the screen that we have this on the wall or this crack and this decay that we need to fix even before this actually distracting and taking away the beauty of the photo so without even um, actually fixing the model skin or doing some frequency separation we're actually going to fix the wall which is the first thing that needs to be fixed so and i'm going to be using a method which is the frequency separation method before I start using the clone stamp tool and the patch tool and the rest. So let's start with the frequency separation and you know, country J twice the way we normally do it. I'm going to name this one color and then name the other one texture. So let's go color and then texture, texture. So we're going to separate the texture and the color Then The texture is going to carry, uh, carry this cracks and the rest why the color is just going to carry the white background so now turn off the texture layer go to the color layer filter go to filter filter blur gaussian blur so sorry my mouse is actually disturbing so gaussian blur gaussian blur and then we're going to blow it oh, let me do it again so filter blow Gaussian blow and this time around I'm going to increase the radius so much it's because I want yeah something like this all right so this looks okay to me 16 and then I'll go to the texture layer and go to image apply image and so go to merge choose the color layer and then go to subtract now you can see that I've actually separated much the more you blow the more texture you are going to get so the reason why is because i want to cover all this crack so let's combine these two and then put them in a box in a group rather in a group okay so for the texture layer we are going to be using the clone stamp tool why does my mouse keep come on all right sorry about that the mouse keep giving me issue so Thing I'm going to need to change it. Let's continue. That will be later. So for the um, color, no, let's start with the texture layer. See? Texture layer. Go click the clone stamp tool and then we'll start sampling some places and replacing it. So like this odd sample and then we need to use fix it just like so. Odd sample and then fix. So I'm going to do this for the rest part of the photo till we get something uniform and then we begin with the other processes all right one thing i miss one thing i miss i forgot to change the texture to linear mode um, let's make the blending mode of the texture to linear light sorry okay so we know what we are doing so linear light all right so let's continue hold on odd sample area Select the texture layer or the sample an area and then we continue with what we do just like so so i'm going to pause the video and then i'm going to quickly do this so now that we are through with the top i'm going to move over to this area mind you we are still going to do all this place so let's first start with the little little ones so same place sample this side and then fix the rest photo so i'm going to do this also and I'm going to pause the video then when I'm done, I'm actually going to <clears throat> uh, play back the video. So I'm through with that. I'll move over to this area and then I'm going to fix things up. So art and then select and blend. So sometimes I just need to drag down, need to drag down, select from here, drag down. Okay. So that's because the align tool is actually selected from here, drop down. All right, so I'm almost done with that. Just want to do this somewhere here. Odd sample, and then I'm going to 
cover those just like so you don't have to bother about the edges we'll fix that in a minute all right so somewhere like this place i'm going to sample somewhere above the wall and then i'm going to come over and then fix it so cut the sample and then we're going to fix it like that so like i said you don't have to bother yourself about the way it's actually looking we'll fix that soon enough <clears throat> all right so the same place now i'm going to zoom in and then sample from here and cover those places like so sample and then okay i think i'm going to turn off the align too so we get something uniform like that just zoom in zoom in and then cover that all right so <clears throat> we're done with that i'm going to go over to this side if you're actually going to do this i would advise you turn off this align tool so it makes things easier for you if not you end up repeating what you've actually fixed so you can see as i'm eating and uh, clicking and fixing the rest it's actually sampling from that side of course we know the wall is actually the same so sample from below and then fix somewhere just actually going to fix all this one all right so We've, um, I've actually done half of the addicting of the wall so you can see uh, before and then you can see uh, after so still we need to blend the um, the color of the wall and um, before we do that I know you are concerned about this square that is actually simple there are so many ways to fix that but let's continue with the blowing uh, with the um, color mixer to to blend the colors of the wall i'm just going to increase the brush size set my brush settings to this and let's keep blending so just like that and click and blend together and then you have a smooth color on the wall so try as much as possible to make it white so for places like this blend the white drag from the white to those area just like that so to make them white so you can see how I'm dragging from the white side down if you can drag from here you can also drag down and it's advisable also this place I'm just going to drag down just like that to blend more I'm going to zoom out all right so now let's pay attention to little details go back to the texture layer Click the content away, content away, and then we want to fix this ones over there. So decrease the size of the brush and sample just like this. Alt click and then move and over. Alt sample, remove the align tool and just like that. So I'm going to do that for you can see I'm moving and for this place sample somewhere like this and then as you are moving you can see that the line make sure you align the line together so to get what you want if not it's actually it's not actually going to fit in so try and fit the lines together you can see the line is not actually straight so I'll try as much as possible to straighten that Okay, so that looks okay to me. You can actually sample somewhere here too. Okay, let's take somewhere here and then you fix the image just like that. So I'm going to do this for, you know, the rest part of the image till we have something like this, till we have something a little bit perfect. Okay, <clears throat> so somewhere here now, I'm going to sample somewhere big like this alt click and then i'm going to move it over and just like so to i blend you know or 
together so just like that i'm gonna zoom out also for this place hot sample and then take it up just like that and alt sample and just like that so okay so we're good with that i'm just going to fix some little adjustment to the same procedure blend this, hold this down and then just fixing that I'm going to take it a little bit sample and then I'm going to cover somewhere like that and so now I can make it bigger and then sample search area and take it down just the way we have it so you can see where we ended up with just the frequency separation on the wall and that is one of the best that um, technique I'm actually going to use so this is our before and this is our after you can see the wall the paint are weak and they've fallen off and now we've actually fixed it with frequency separation now we can create a stamp visible layer if you know you're not satisfied, you can actually go and do some other method. So method I would recommend is using the patch tool. So let me just show you how that works. Come here, go to the patch tool or the content I will move to. So if you, let's say you want to move something, let me look for a, a place on. Yes, yeah, so let's just say you want to move this side upwards. So you can just drag it above and just, you know, leave it. And it enter and it just automatically going to copy that um, layer to the place just like that and it control the select so it's another method you can actually use if you want to fix your image so uh, you can also use the patch tool. the patch tool works the same way only that it's you drag you don't copy you just drag it and then it's look uh, kind of look for a place that is actually similar to those side and then you leave it and then it works like content aware so why not using all of that if you know you are not satisfied you can go on and keep doing that for, for the sake of this tutorial i'm just going to just continue all right so this one now let's start editing with the exposure to i want to reduce the exposure and you can see some places are just over bright so i'm just going to decrease the exposure just um, the gamma correction so as to have um, something unique okay so if that is too much we can decrease the opacity let's see before and after so I feel like it's actually looking good okay I'm just going to create another stamp visible layer from this one and then you can see our skin we can perform some frequency separation on our skin. So I'm going to do that right away. Ctrl J twice, rename this one color. So I'm going to be fast about it and rename this one texture. So you all know the frequency separation. I'm just going to pause the video and then I'm going to do that. change this one to linear light so in the course of doing the frequency separation i found out that the color of our chest is not actually the same with that of our leg you can see this place is more you know rich in color why this place is just too bright so i'm going to fix that first of all so let's delete the frequency texture uh, layer i'm going to cancel this just because my mouse keeps me and in doing that you know the method go to adjustment layer U and saturation and this time around we're going to select the leg let's just select the leg with this slider with the and two and then we have this increase the U and I'm going to move it till we have just only this selected so let's zoom in I just want only the leg selected 
take it to the front or take it to this side so i think that is the best place to select so since we can't get that let's just do it manually i'm going to turn it on and then reset so let's use the brush tool and select just the leg go to the mask um, yes the mask and i'm going to let's first go to the use slider turn it all the way up and then let's impact the mask control i and let's select our leg because we want to change the color back. so since we make the selection of the leg i'm going to open the hue and saturation and you can see that i want this place to be like this side i'm just going to i'm not going to reduce the lightness because the lightness won't let it be like that i'm just going to increase the saturation just a bit and take note when you zoom out you can see not too saturated but you can see the difference turning it off and on so you can see it's just almost like this one uh, also you can just decrease the lightness just a little bit like minus three or so so we get something like this so better than before let's see maybe we can we can actually also bring back the hue so it looks like um, the skin on top so let's check out our before and then our after so look at the before white and then look at the after so it's still kind of red asian color so i'm just going to bring back the um, saturation this one i'm going to make it zero and let's see the sweet spot for it i think that place minus two looks okay okay all right so i'm not going to increase the saturation i'm just going to take it to minus three looks fine to me all right so since if we can actually do that we we'll actually use i'll actually go to capture one you know to actually fix that myself so i guess a lot need to be done there for us to get this type of skin texture so all right guys so this is what i'm going to stop for the tutorial and you can actually hit me up if you want more tutorial like this fixing up background i'm also on fiverr if you want to edit your photo you can reach me out on fiverr all right so if you're new to the channel and you enjoyed the video we post don't forget to subscribe hit the subscribe button and turn hit the notification button to get notified anytime we post videos like this all right see you guys in the next video take care